Welcome to this answer video on perimeter of rectilinear shapes. This video will talk through the answers to the perimeter of rectilinear shapes worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Let's make a start with question one. Match the shape to its perimeter. We have three shapes, A, B and C, and we have three perimeters, 44 centimetres, 34 centimetres and 42 centimetres. I've already made a start on this question so I can talk you through the process so far and then we can carry on and get the final answers together. So starting with shape A, we had some missing values that we needed to, to identify the length of these sides here. To do that I've used my knowledge of rectilinear shapes. I know that each corner joins at 90 degrees, so each of the corners will be a right angle, and that will help me decide which lengths I can say are the same and which lengths will not be the same. So here I have two sides, I have two centimetres and eight centimetres, so I know by adding them together that the total length of my shape is 10 centimetres. That means I can look at this side and this missing value here and say that 10 centimetres, the whole length, subtract eight centimetres, is two centimetres. So this missing value here must be two centimetres. I can apply that same reasoning to find out the missing values here because we said rectilinear shapes are rectangles joined together to make new shapes. I can see here that I have one rectangle where the width is two centimetres. So the width of this little bit here is also two centimetres. Five add two is seven. So my shape is seven centimetres wide, which means that this bit here must also be five centimetres because seven centimetres subtract two centimetres is five centimetres. My next step was to write down the length of each side so that I can add them together and get my perimeter. So I've made a list of each of those here. I've gone round the shape to make sure that I don't repeat any of the sides and then I've added them together to get 34 centimetres, which is one of the options out of the selection of perimeters on your sheet. Let's look at shape B. I've started to fill in the missing values here and we'll carry on together. I had nine centimetres for this length here and I got that by adding together the length of each of these parallel sides. Each of these parts runs parallel to the long side here. So two, add two, add two, add three, equals nine centimetres. We then need to find the missing value here. Now I can see that in our rectilinear shape, this is a little rectangle that's been stuck on to the longer rectangle here. So if this side is four centimetres, this side must also be four centimetres. We then have this side here, which we need to use this length here to help us get the answer. The total width of this section is eight centimetres. The width of this bit here is two centimetres, so I can do eight subtract two to leave me with six centimetres. My next step is to add all of those different lengths together. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way around. So we can have eight centimetres, add three centimetres, add six centimetres, add two centimetres, add four centimetres, add two centimetres, need the new line, and then we're back onto four centimetres, add two centimetres, add two centimetres, and finally nine centimetres. So we can add together the length of each of those sides. Something worth doing is to count each of the sides you have and check that you have the same amount of value so that you know that you haven't repeated one of the lengths or you haven't missed one of them out. So our answer for uh, shape B, the perimeter is 42 centimetres. Again, that's one of the values. So if we've got this right, Shape C should have a perimeter of 44 centimetres because that's all that's left. Let's check. So we have three lengths that we need to find the answer to that don't currently have it labelled. So looking at this first one, we can see we have a rectangle here. This side is eight centimetres. This side is two centimetres. And again, because it's a rectangle, we know that this side here must also be two centimetres. Let's check this bit going down here. We have 
two centimeters there and three centimeters there and we're looking for this missing value here. I now know the value of this side here. So if I add together my seven and my two, I get nine centimeters. That means that this, this and this must also equal nine centimeters. So I can subtract two and three from nine, which will leave me with four centimeters. Finally, we need to look at this one here. We know that the width of this whole section is eight centimeters. We also know that this here is two centimeters. So we can subtract that. Eight subtract two is six centimeters. So the width of this whole section here is six centimeters. We need to have a look at what this value would be. And we can do that by looking at this bit here. What we want to subtract is the length between here and here, just to leave us with this little bit. I can do that by using this value. The length of this section here is eight centimeters. The length of this section here is five centimeters. If I subtract them, I'm left with three centimeters. I can now work out that missing value. So eight centimeters, subtract the two and the three. So that was five. The answer there will be three centimeters. Now we have all our values, we can go back to the addition calculation to find our answer. So I'm going to go around the shape and add each of those sides together. It's got eight centimetres, add two centimetres, add three centimetres, add four centimetres, add five centimetres, three centimetres, eight centimetres, seven centimetres, two centimetres and two centimetres. And our final answer when we've added those together is 44 centimetres. So I can now match each of the perimeters to each shape. So our 44 centimetres was shape C, 34 centimetres was shape A, and 42 centimetres was shape B. Let's have a look at question two. Put a cross next to the statements which are correct. So we have four statements. Statement A, the perimeter is 40 millimetres. Statement B, the length of side A is 3 millimetres. Statement C, side A is half the length of side B. And statement D, the total of sides A and C is 5 millimetres. So we have three missing values that we need to find and then we can see which statements are correct. So I'm going to start with a and have a look at how to work out which is the missing value. We know that the total width of the shape is nine millimeters as written here. For side A, we need to know the value from here to here. If we follow the shape down, that's the same as from here to here. And here we have two measurements. So I can subtract three millimeters and three millimeters from our whole width of nine millimeters to leave me with three millimetres. So side A is three millimetres. Let's have a look at side B. I can see that side B is the same length as this side here because it's a rectangle. So we know that this particular rectangle, if we imagine it cut off here, this rectangle measures seven millimetres by three millimetres. So side B must also be seven millimetres. I can now see, if I look at this side here, I have two millimetres and seven millimetres, which is nine millimetres, so my entire shape is nine millimetres long. I know this is seven millimetres, so by subtracting seven from nine, which is the whole length, C is two millimetres. We can now go back to our statements. The perimeter is 40 millimetres. So let's check that first. We need to work out the perimeter by adding together the length of every side. So I have three millimetres, add seven millimetres, add another three millimetres, add two millimetres, and then along the bottom we have nine millimetres, and then going back up the other side, we can add on the rest of the values. 
I'm just going to check. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to check that I have eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got all of the measurements that I need. Now we need to add them together. And our answer is 36 millimetres. So I can't put a cross next to statement A because that's not correct. The perimeter is not 40 millimetres. Now, the next one, the length of side A is three millimetres. We've already calculated that and that statement's correct. So I'm going to put a cross in that box. Side A is half the length of side B. So side A was three millimetres and side B was seven millimetres. I know that half of seven is not three. So that statement can't be correct. The final statement, the total of sides A and C is five millimetres. So side A was three millimetres. Side C is two millimetres, which equals five millimetres. So statement D is also correct. Question three, use the measurements of the rectangles to calculate the perimeter of the shape below. There are so many problem solving aspects in this particular question, so let's get started. We need to make sure we can work out the length of each side of this particular rectilinear shape. Let's have a look at what we already know. So we know that this side here is four centimetres. So I can write that on here. Using what we know about the parallel lines in a rectilinear shape, in that they follow a pattern, they are the same on both sides, we can also say that this side here is four centimetres. We've been helped out here because this smaller section is three centimetres and that makes a rectangle with this interior shape here, this little line on the inside. So we could say that this is three centimetres, as is this. The rectangle here tells us that this line across here, this is now a rectangle, we know that this is two centimetres. We need to look at these top bits now. We know that the width of the shape is 10 centimetres. We know that one of these red squares here is four centimetres and half of that is two centimetres. So we can label this bit here with two centimetres and this side here with two centimetres. This forms a rectangle. So our top parts are also two centimetres. That leaves this side, this side, and this side. This is a square. We can show that by having our full length here as 10 centimetres, but we can subtract these two lengths, so subtract two and subtract four will leave us with four centimetres. So this particular bit here is four centimetres by four centimetres. And using our knowledge of these squares here, we know that this is 10 centimetres, subtract four and subtract four again for this side, leaves us with two centimetres. Now that we have the length of each side, we can repeat the process. We can add all of those sides together. I'm going to start at the top here and I'm going to go around adding together each of the sides. There we go. So we have each of the sides written down in our calculation and the final step is to add those values together. And our answer is 34 centimetres. That was a video explaining the answers to the perimeter of rectilinear shapes worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and for more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.